man. So let's let's let's, let's jump into it. Like you said, championship weekend. AFC, Final four. AFC, Cincinnati Bengals, Kansas City Chiefs, and Arrowhead. Two young quarterbacks, you know, top, top quarterbacks in the league right now. Um, I'm going with the dog. Damn, we jumping right into it. We jumping right into it. What we waiting, <laughs> what we waiting on? What we waiting on? I'm going with the we dog. Right into it. Somebody asked if I'm gonna jump off that um off that we, that Borgo train. Nah, I'm a, I'm 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 a rock with it. You know, uh, Patrick Mahomes, a great quarterback. Um, Kansas City favorite in this game, as you can see right there. Um, Andy Reid, Travis Kelsey. Tyreek Hill offense is phenomenal. They can put points up on the board. Um, I'm just yeah. staying with, with who I'm rocking with: Joe Burrow, Joe Mixon, Chase, T. Higgins, Boyd. Um, I'm going with them, man. I, I'm just I'm just crossing my fingers, and you know I do my 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 morning meditation, man. And, uh -huh. I'm just I'm praying that the Cincinnati Bengals old line, man, hey, what? I, I, that's what I'm, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm scared for that. I'm scared. I'm scared about that. You know, but I'm going. I'm going with the Bengals, man. I'm going with Joe Burrow, man. Joe Burrow, second year in the league, man. He gonna be in the Super Bowl, man. Special, so if you, you know, if you're gonna bet on because I'm taking the Niners on the NFC side, since so we're gonna jump right into it, I'm going with the Niners. So, uh, if you wanted to bet on that correct Super Bowl matchup on FanDuel right now, that's plus 900. If you think both of those teams gonna win, you bet a hundred dollars, you'll make 900 on that matchup. Um, outright, the Bengals, if you got the Bengals going, that's plus 850. Now, is this winning? Super Bowl betting, outright betting. It might be winning. Yeah, I mean, you saw you saw Joe Burrow. You saw him go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Mahomes already this year. And, um, you know, they were down. Back was against the wall. Burrow did his thing, man, and he's done that. In, in every got-to-have-it situation, let me go back to when we had the conversation about, you know, Herbert, Burrow, and I jumped out there. I said, hey, if this draft was done over again, you lied. I forgot how I finished it, but uh you lied. It, it you, was, sat, uh, you sat on the man to man pod and lied that day. I didn't take you as a liar, but you sat on this podcast and you lied to the people. <clears throat> you said, what I said at the what I said at that point was Herbert would be the number one guy, it would be a consensus. And you lied. And I was wrong. I didn't lie. You lied. I was wrong. <laughs> you told that I, lie on that. Yeah, that's wrong. I was, I was on the man to man dead. podcast. Still, you lied to the people. <laughs> Do we still have yeah, we still had it. Yeah. We can take AB <laughs> off this one. This is just me. I was I was dead ass wrong about this one. Okay. Uh it's not a consensus. It's a debate, a real debate. And Burrow, um, you know, he's showing it's I mean, special man. He got he got his ass beat last week, nine sacks uh from that Tennessee Titans front. And uh, you know, still stood in there through for 340, made the, the go ahead play to Jamar Chase um to set up the game winning field goal. And uh, you know, he's done it all year on every level. It's nothing, nothing bad you can say about that guy. Top five in my book in the league. I think Herbert is as well, but uh top five guy. I'm excited, man, to see him on this stage. This is Mahomes and Andy Reid's fourth straight AFC championship. That's I mean that's impressive. That's, That's unbelievable. unbelievable. Especially during this time. You know, I think, um, you know, the Buffalo Bills did it back. You know, Jim Kelly, Thurman, Thurman Thomas, Bruce Smith. Um, but to be, you know, four back to, like, you know, back yeah. to back AFC championships, man, that's very impressive with the free agency, how that goes to be able to um, continuously come out with a great product. But, um, but yeah, you know, they doing some, playing some great ball and you can't yeah. knock it. Then obviously the way they, uh, won the game last week against the Bills. Um, the Bengals know. The, the Bengals know they're in a heavyweight match this this weekend. For sure. They're in a heavyweight yeah. match. So, um, 
if if the Bengals got to go get OG Willie Anderson man to come in and um, <laughs> and, and and do some hey, things facts for that for that Bengals old line, but hey, we 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 have a chance. We, if Bo was not we, back there running around, crazy. We have a chance. We now is we. Uh, you build with your guy. You build with your guy all year, though. I can't. I can't knock it, man. But um, I, I'm excited, man. Like I said, four in a row. It, I mean, it's every time you think you know Mahomes, Andy Reid are out of it, they make a play. And part of that, part of a big part of the success, obviously, is Eric being and me, and him not getting a head coaching job. But that's what you. That's why you said it's so hard to do it you know, around this, in this day and age, because coaches move on coaches, you know, they have a great year. They go get head coaching jobs. Um, players obviously move around much more free agency. Um, so yeah, it, it's impressive. And, and being to be not getting a job has actually helped obviously the chiefs a ton, I think as well, but um, it's going to be exciting, man. But I, I think the chiefs are going, I think the chiefs are going to advance yeah. to another Super Bowl. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's, what, what, what do the chiefs need to do? Um, to win this game? Well, obviously, um, the same thing the Titans did, you know, as far as getting, you know, making Burrow. <laughs> it's crazy to say uncomfortable because he still, you know, went off. But, um, you know, hit him as, as, as much as possible. And on the back end, because, I mean, they gave up. They won the game, but they gave up 36 points. And they gave up a touchdown, wide open touchdown with 13 seconds left on the clock. So they damn near – they tried their best to trick that game off last week against the Bills. So I definitely got to tighten some things up on the back end, um, you know, in that defense because Chase, Higgins, Boyd, uh, the tight end mixing, Burrow. Now, like, that's what I said. They have a lot more weapons than than the Bills. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, it kind of balances off, though, because Josh Allen, with what he's able to do with his legs – that just adds a whole another huh? dynamic to that offense. Huh? You know what I mean? But um, but yeah, a lot of weapons, a lot of weapons. And then you know, on the other side, Chiefs side, offensively, Kelsey and Hill, those two, those try and true, man. So you got to take the Chiefs, the Bengals gonna have to take those two away. But what do you think uh the Bengals recipe for success is gonna be? They gotta be efficient on the with the run game, man. They gotta be able to run the ball with Joe Mixon. I think that's very important. Um, not only do you control the game, you control the line of scrimmage, you control the clock, and you keep Patrick Mahomes on the sideline. Um, and then what you run in the game, that opens up the play action. And you know they love to take his shots down the field. Um, and, again, when you have Jamal Chase, you got Boyd, you got Higgins, you got three down the field threats that you have to focus on. Where I say, you know, with, with Buffalo, you know, you had Davis, you got – we got digs. Those are really your two down the field threats. Yeah. Um, you know, Cole Beasley, he's going to work intermediate. Um, and you got Knox that, you know, does some, does some good things as well. But mm -hmm. when you look at the Bengals, their structure on the outside is just totally different than what the bills were. And the Kansas city chiefs, as you can see, you know, obviously one of their leader was out, but they going they had troubles in the secondary. So if I got three guys that can push, that can push down the field, um, and we've seen it all year. Either one of those guys can go off. Um, mm -hmm. But, again, I think it starts with being able to run the ball, uh, control the line of scrimmage, and control their clock, keeping keeping Mahomes on the um, on the sideline. I think they have a good recipe to win. And, hey, before we uh, get out of here. We got to get to this last game, too. Yeah. Yeah, sir. <clears throat> Where you going in this, man? You know the Niners have won six in a row in this game. Yeah. Uh, I'm, they can buy I'm tickets little, now. I'm a little nervous to go with the Niners because they, because they, you know, I can go on with them, they with them, they, and they've been winning. My fault. I've been betting on them to cover. Um, have I? Been, I think I had them. I had them beating the, the the Cowboys, but I had them losing to the Packers. But I had them covering. Uh definitely got them covering this week. Uh, Oh, I thought you was frozen. Definitely got him covering this week. But I think uh, it's hard to beat a team three times in a row in the same season. Yeah, but when you and got Stafford's a team's number, good. you got a team's number. That and that's I'm going to the Niners, though. You know I'm going. That's Jimmy G. Not a game. Jimmy G in the clutch. He gets it done. It might be ugly for three and a half quarters, but game on the line. And that's the quarterback that you want. <laughs> 
you know it's gonna be it's gonna be ugly for three and a half quarters. Cause look I'm at all these other you, quarterbacks. Look, 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 look at look look at these other quarterbacks. Point, up to this point, I was like, yo, G D butt as my GM. Check but, it. Aaron Rodgers, it's gonna look, it can look however it wanna look. When it when it's time to get it done, nah. last week NFC championship and last year, his defense had three picks. He couldn't get it done down the stretch. So I think you know, I, I I think I'm gonna go with the dogs as well. I think I'm I'm going with Cincy. I'm staying on that train, and then um, that's plus nine hundred. I think I'm a um, I think I'm gonna go with San Fran, man. Um, they have the the formula of of winning, and I I said it, we said it. If mm -hmm. you can run the ball and you can play defense, you have a great shot. Of making a dance, man, and that's what they do, that's man. They, they they able to run the ball. That defense is is playing well right now. Um, I I Jimmy G, man. <laughs> I, hey, I I I feel you. I feel you. You look at the stats. You look at the QBR. I'm not even, you look I'm not even looking at the stats. I'm not even looking at the stats. I'm looking. I'm, I'm looking at the game. Like oh, well, just just watch the just watch the fourth quarter. Like when it when they <laughs> just watch. Gotta have it. That's what you watch. And I think honestly, and I know it's not Shanahan's offense. He's run. He's motion. He shift. He's all this stuff. But Garoppolo is at his best in a hurry up in a tempo. I get my guys lined up. I signal. You know, and we know as a defense, we got to get lined up too. We got to get our shit's calls get simpler. That's when he's at his best, and he gonna make those couple plays, boneheaded throws. Mm. But if you're gonna be, if you're gonna be on point in the clutch, I can live with that. You know what I mean? Because a lot of quarterbacks out here are gonna make a lot of boneheaded plays, but they turn it up when the stakes are the highest. So um, I ride with Jimmy G, man. Tom Brady, his first Super Bowl, he went one touchdown, one pick. And, and, and won the Super Bowl MVP. So, Jimmy, it, it starts now, my brother. Man, it's this is a tough one for me, man. Cause I, I and that defense too. The de the and that's, I mean, all the Jimmy G talk. I mean, he he, you know, the 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 wins and losses. His record is good, but when we talk about, you know, you know the the defense been 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 carrying. I would say this. The defense and Debo's been carrying that mob, yo, and Kittle. All right. Well, I, I'll be posting another two-minute drive from week 14 when they matched up with the Cincinnati Bengals when they needed a two-minute drive in OT to win it. Uh, and, and Burrow was special that game, too. God damn. He's been but, special um, all season, bro. Don't disrespect yes, my yes. man. Yeah, he's yeah, been special yeah. his whole career. He's been special. You know, no, yeah, he's been no, special. No, no disrespect on Burrow's name. But uh, speaking of defense, though, um, the current record holder right now is Charles Haley with seven and a half postseason sacks for the San Francisco 49ers. He did that in 11 games. Nick Bosa is currently sitting at six and a half playoff sacks in only five playoff games. So he's one sack away from tying the all-time record. I think he'll get it, and I think that defense will continue to do their job. And so, Jimmy... But uh, it's going to be exciting, man. It should be a good, great weekend of football. Looking forward to it. Um, yeah, man. It's going it's to be fun. It's crazy. We so much. I was watching some basketball for the first time the other night. But that's not even on my radar right now. Yeah. To this, uh, to the season's over with. Um, man. Sunday, man. Y'all be locked in. Tune in. You know, like you said, championship weekend. Um. I think we'll have some great games. Great games, so don't don't miss it. Um, great games. Probably, you know, he probably probably gonna be on Twitter on the spaces. But if, so, if Jimmy G go off and win this game, man, y'all gonna be tired of me. Especially since, since I had that take early since, on in the year. Since you can't, so, since you can't talk about Herbert, yeah, you know I mean, <laughs> you go you. You got to talk about Jimmy G, so I, I get it. I get it. I definitely get it, D-Buck. You um, keep game. You were smart. Yeah. You were you you know, I see everything. I see everything. Again, man, next week, man, I'm going to be in Mobile, Alabama at the Senior Bowl. Um, so Monday, I may be 
coming to you live. Yeah, yeah, we do the show Monday. I'll be live at the at the Senior Bowl. I may. I, I may. want. I want. I wanted to be out there with you, man. But I got. You know, I got blacklisted. It's, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll it, talk about it some it, point. It, it is what it is. You know, I'm down holding the line. down. Yeah, I know. I know you're gonna hold it down. You're gonna more than hold it down for us. And it's crazy because it's crazy, senior bro. Because I, I, I gave my blood, sweat, and tears of that game in Mobile, Alabama. But um, you know, it is what it is.